Hey guys, Anasha here. So I wanted to try something new with the Goodwill bins and uh, a little tiny record store near my house um, that he, he's going through a tough time and I want to help him out and he's got stuff I want. So a um, little bit different video. Uh, first thing is uh, Happy New Year, everyone. And uh, for me, um, I did some New Year's resolutions around my selling and everything. And uh, one of them was I wanted to list at least 20 items, preferably 10 on 10 movies and 10 other things on my other eBay store. It's not going to be like that every time. It might be more DVDs. I got probably another six, 700 DVDs to go through and list. But I wanted to do that because I was going through days without listing a single thing. And I, you notice that, you know, like if you like a days after you haven't listed anything on your eBay store, like it dries up. I start listing again, older stuff starts uh, selling really fast. So it's just kind of uh, it, maybe a YouTube algorithm, not YouTube, uh, uh, they have algorithms too, but an eBay algorithm or, you know, I had other people say the exact same things like, yeah, when they would consistently list stuff, it seems like eBay promotes their stores more than others. I mean, I do have everything promoted, but so, you know, I've been doing this today is January 7th and I've listed 20 items for 306 next day, 22 items for 357. Uh, 17 items for 223 and I sold 13 of those items already for 150 um, 25 items 464 20 items 350 21 items last night for 394 and I'm at 9 I'm still going through them I was just going through this lot of uh, stuff that I just got from the Goodwill bins so I'm, I'm tracking it I found this little book in the bins uh, and I just been I show you just little just keeping track just kind of a motivation of all right this is how much I'm listing and this is how much potential money that I could make uh, that's gross you know take out shipping and stuff like that because if it's free shipping uh, and then the next thing is if I another rule for made for myself is I pick it up from the Goodwill bins or thrifting I want to have it listed within a week. I don't, unless it's something like I'm collecting a whole bunch of books to lot them all up. That's fine. I need to get gone within a week because I got this pile, this death pile. It's crazy. It's quite crazy. Um, you're sitting on two empty crates that I already got rid of this week and uh, this just got this big massive tub that was just filled with movies cds and other stuff and most of that's listed uh except for what i have in front of me which i'm going to talk about so that's another thing i'm doing is getting rid of stuff i gotta get it listed um my wife wants to get me a shed for christmas uh, I just need to go out there and pick it out and then we can put our Christmas stuff in there and I got like six shelves in that garage where I could start putting my inventory in there uh, in crates so I can keep everything nice organized and out of our bedroom out of the living room so I could have like a couple shelves that are just you know my death pile that I need to list and yeah all right so besides that how you doing all right, so <laughs> I already did this once with him, is I picked up, you know, like a dozen CDs in some um, live concerts uh, from different bands, and I traded him in. Uh, he's not doing cash credit because it's he can't afford to give out cash right now. A uh, pandemic is really, really hurting him. And so what he does is he'll give you trading credit. So I traded in a bunch of stuff. I think I spent like five bucks on a whole bunch of CDs and some movies and stuff like that, the concerts. And I traded it in for $45 in credit. And I got the Lord of the Rings trilogy extended edition DVD, the old school one, you know, that looks like the three volumes, uh, the blue, red, and green volumes. They kind of look like books. Uh, and uh, I already sold those. They sold that night for $45 shipped and it was about four bucks, 
450 to ship them. So that was extremely good profit. Five bucks into that. And then I got to keep a couple games. Uh, well, they're for resale. Uh, they're in the death pile. Because uh, I have a whole bunch of rock band guitars and stuff. And I, it was a rock band two game that was $5. And I forget what the other value was. So, so far, profitable. Uh, it's going really well with that. And so... I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to get a bigger pile. Like, if I see a big pile, I'm just going to save him up and see what else he's got. He's got a whole bunch of big box, like, 90s PC games, like some early 90s stuff, like Space Quest, Police Quest, all this stuff. Um, Laser Suit Larry, uh, King's Quest. He's got all these big box games, and, you know, he knows the value of them. Because uh, we were just, I'm like, like yeah, we were talking, and, like, you know, I'm like, yeah, I'm looking them up on eBay, you know, I'm... You know, and I, we were talking about how much they're worth and they're like, yeah, you need to get these things listed. Uh, he doesn't want to list all of them, but, you know, I'm going to just probably save up for some of those. Or he's got a pile of just games, uh, and games that people traded in, tons of movies that I'll be interested in flipping. So uh, we'll see what I'll get. I'll do another video of what I pick up. I probably won't film there just because it's a very small place and I don't know how he feels about that. So... With all that said, I have this pile of uh, CDs here. Um, I try to get more common stuff for him. Uh, you know, like here's the best of Johnny Cash, Toby Keith, you know, rock. He's his rock and countries where, because we're in Texas, is where it's at. You know, 10,000 Maniacs. I try to get something, you know, people that people know, train. Um, that's the kind of stuff that he wants. And so... I kind of cherry picked uh, some of them and I got a couple stacks. Um, I'll read off some of the uh, Van Morrison, Bruce Springsteen, Steely Dan, Toby Keith, Johnny Cash, um, some soundtracks, Kid Rock, um, No Doubt, Avril Lavigne, Alanis Morissette, you know, just, just a whole bunch of that kind of stuff in there um so i these i have uh i weighed them and i have about 22 pounds of cds so my goodwill that i go to in dallas they charge 69 cents for 69 cents a pound that's 69 cents a pound most cds weigh about four ounces so that's about 17 cents a cd um so if I get like a quarter of CD, cool. Um, so 22 pounds, this whole thing, plus these guys and this Led Zeppelin remasters, complete. Complete, um, you know, was about 16 bucks, 15, 16 dollars around there. And um, we'll see what I could get for it. This is a lot bigger stack than I traded in before. But there's also stuff in here that I'm going to keep for myself and sell. Uh, because he doesn't do some of that stuff. Like, uh, here's Body by Jake. Um, Extreme Workout DVDs. I didn't look this up yet, but it, all the discs look like new. Um, it's, they still have some of the wrap on them where they've never been touched. So I you know I picked up you know some of the, you know like this workout stuff is pretty popular right now. I've been selling a lot of beach body stuff. Uh, I looked up some of these CDs too, and some of them go for like ten bucks or more. So uh, I'll probably just maybe flip these myself. Um, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, but there were some games in there like this Sega Daytona USA. Uh, this is case only, but I could probably still sell for like ten bucks online. Because uh, that is still selling. Uh, Warhammer 40k, Dawn of War. I haven't looked up this. I, If I see something PC related, I will try to save it. Um, yeah, the artwork is messed up on there. What else did I find? A online startup disc for the PlayStation 2. Uh, some meditation CD, still sealed. Yeah, some yoga stuff. Do you have a 2002 Dodge Ram? I got a DVD for you. Oh, no, this is a CD. 
This is a CD of a whole bunch of music for your RAM. Um, Bee Gees, The Sealed Beauty of the Bees, Battle for Middle Earth game. This one is a signed CD by Henry Capono. Don't know. Um, he probably won't take that because, you know, he needs people that are, uh, that, you know, people are going to go into shop and look for. John Abel, which is like a Christian singer, I think. And this is still sealed. There was like a couple sold for him that went pretty decent. And this is still sealed. He doesn't really do religious, he said. Um, couldn't find anything really on this. This is the Script Tunes Volume 1 Upward. Don't know. So, you know, just some random stuff. And I th the coolest one is I already sold a couple of these Power Rangers RPM promo discs. Uh, this has Episode 1 for RPM. Uh, then it shows like Power Ranger moves, Power Ranger lessons, Power Ranger sneak peek, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, I've, I've been selling these for about 15 bucks a piece. And this is going to be saved for a buddy that loves the Power Rangers. And so I am going to save that for him. And uh, he, I might see him next week. He'll be in town. So, uh, yeah. So I will do another follow-up video to show what I get for this. So basically I'm in 15 bucks plus I got extras. Um, just probably on some of the stuff I already made my money back on. And uh, we'll see where it goes from there. If I could uh, get something really cool. Uh, on some games. Um, it doesn't have to be those big box PC games. Because they were going for, you know, some of them were like 200 bucks plus. And uh, ah, they're crazy, crazy, crazy prices. If you got big box PC games from the 90s, look them up. Uh, they're worth money now. Before, they weren't worth nothing. No one wanted that stuff. But now it's retro and cool. Who knows? All right. I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. And I hope you guys had a good new year. Uh, let me know what your resolutions are about your reselling. Um, I figured this was just a simple way that I could just get stuff going, get stuff moving, uh, be very active in reselling, and hopefully grow, grow this business. Um, maybe I'm going to you know, help my wife learn what I do so she could start listing stuff too and maybe even quit her job and replace her income with it. I know that I made more money in seven months of reselling last year than she did all year with her job. So, and I do this part-time because I have a full-time job that I work 40 hours a weekend, sometimes more. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.